Hi everyone, so I'm not sure if I played this map before, but it's every U.S. interstate exit. Uh, this should be relatively easy because we should have the exit number and the interstate number as well, so we just have to identify the state. Uh, I'm going to allow moving because I'm not sure how it's going to be placing us, but I'll do a three minute time limit, so let's get this started. Okay, so we don't have an exit number there, so that kind of goes against what I said earlier. This side, it seems like we do. I don't know where that is. Actually, that's kind of a generic uh, highway shield. Just a circle. It could be like Kentucky or something, I think, uses that. Um, 143A. So I don't even know what interstate we're on. I don't know what state we're in, and I don't know... Uh, yeah, those are the two things I don't know. I know what exit number we're near, though. So that's good once I find the... Uh, Interstate, which hopefully this sign says. No, it doesn't. Garrisonville, I don't know where that is. Well, maybe if I go off onto the exit, if I can find the entrance ramp, that should say the... Um, I should be able to get a sign that says the name of what interstate we're on. Movement's all screwed up as usual, which is very annoying, but that's... Google Maps fault, not GeoGuessr. Oh, here we go. This is what I needed. It's going to be on this sign, hopefully. Okay, 95. So we're between Richmond and Washington. So it's like uh, one of these ones here, Fredericksburg or something. I don't know. Um, it was like 143 or something. Yeah, that's 130. I think it would count up as you go north. So this is uh, Oakia. I think I saw that. Why is this exit number not showing up? Okay, um... Let's look for another exit. 148, wasn't it 143? Okay, I think it is this one then, it's just being weird. Okay, we have the loop thing here. East Akia 143. Yeah, so um, where are we going to be exactly then? Like here? We got that Hampton Inn. Yes, we do. So we're definitely here. It's just a matter of pinpointing it. These maps are always kind of difficult. Um, I don't know exactly how the map works with the... Uh, like interstate exits, but we should be there. There we go. Close enough anyway uh, to get perfect. So we're at exit 96. This looks like Florida, but I'm not sure. Actually, that car had a front plate, though, so maybe not. Oh, it is a Ponce de Leon rest area. Going southwest. Could this be, what, 75? Like here, maybe? Let's look. Um... Exit 96, though, would probably be farther south. I think this one, again, we're going to... Oh, that's a rest area, though. That might not be good. Because it might not... Oh, no. Okay. It is a proper exit. I was thinking rest area is not going to tell you what highway you're on, because you can only access it from the highway. Um, Ponce de Leon Springs. I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't know where it is. I could just look for... Okay, so it's 10. I could just look for that highway as well, but... Uh, yeah, so it was like, what was it, 70 or 80 or 90 or something? I don't know, but it's probably over here, I guess, it would start. No, it starts, it would start in uh, this area, so we'd be, oh, there we go, Ponce de Leon, um, exit 96. Why is it not showing, is that a new thing where it doesn't show the exit numbers? That's annoying. It has to be there. They don't have another exit in this town. Um, shit, this is going to be hard to pinpoint, though. But should be right around there somewhere. Yes, there we go. Probably should have known Ponce de Leon. I've heard of it, but I don't know. I didn't know where it was. So 48 looks like we're somewhere in the Great Plains or something. I don't know exactly, but... Or even like Minnesota or something. I don't know. Let's see if we can. Oh, I think I saw a yellow plate there. 
And is this a toll highway or not? That might be a clue. Eventually, we're just going to see the interstate shield, so... Yeah, it is a toll that, um, state that uses Easy Pass. Oh, it actually is New York. So that explains the yellow plate. We're between Buffalo and... What? Between Buffalo and Albany. So we must be in Syracuse if the signs aren't saying Syracuse. Um, did it say what exit number we were at? I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, 48. Could be this. 35, what the fuck? So we're nowhere near that. Why does... Why does the sign... Oh, wait, do they count up as you go west? Okay, that's unusual, isn't it? I think they most of them count up as you go east. Um, but I guess it's an older state, so... I don't know if that matters, because the interstates aren't really necessarily that old. Or that much older than any other state. Um, what the hell? Oh, they're se um, sequen sequential, not... Um, not um like mile based so this yeah this is like the 48th exit on the highway it's not oh they barely have any exits here too um and of course this one doesn't have a exit number but i'm pretty sure this is the correct one Gonna have to look at this one. 48A. Okay, so 48A, and then this one should be 47, right? Yeah, of course the one that we need doesn't show it, but uh does this work? Like we're going slightly yeah, that works. Slightly south, but mostly west, and we're right around there somewhere. Oh wow, that was pretty close. Okay, 290. I guess if you're really good at ad identifying the states, it's possible to get some of these perfect without moving. This looks like Texas. They have this frontage road system. Could be Oklahoma as well. Let's see, we got... I thought I just saw an interstate. It might have been the Motel 6 sign. But let's just go over here. Albany... That's say Albany or Abilene. I think Albany is the name of the street. Anyway, we're in Abilene, so that's 20, isn't it? Or 30? No, 20. Oh yeah, 30 is east of Dallas, but... Um, actually, do they have a three-digit one? No, they don't. Okay, so it has to be 20. Um, I guess I can just look for this. Highway 351... We're going like northwest here, so 351 should be that, yes. And we're somewhere over here. Let's get back on to the freeway. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I moved over there, didn't I? So Wait, how did that work? Oh, they're just entering, and then we are we have our exit here. And we have a road to line it up, too. That's good. At least, I hope we do, if that road actually shows up. Scottish Road, let's see if that is what it's called. Yes, so. That should be right there. There we go. 121, this looks like California, but I don't know which interstate it is. Looks like it could be the LA area. Um, Auburn Ravine. So there's an Auburn near Sacramento, which would... Actually, I don't think it's the LA area. There's not enough palm trees. I don't know why I mentioned that. Um, so I assume this is going to be 80, maybe. Yes, so it is going to be Auburn near Sacramento. Let's just use the name of the street. That might be easier than using the exit. Auburn Ravine and Bowman... Didn't realize it was so far up here. Um, 
how is this thing oriented? It's just like a normal like diamond interchange. Guys, kind of worried that would happen. But we don't have all these loops, so it's not going to be that one. Oh, there we go, Auburn Ravine. We're actually on the ramp this time going north, so we're going to be about there. So I wonder if I could, like, add it, like, go up there and look at where these poles are to help orient me. No, that's a dumb idea. Because the pinpointing on this one's going to be hard. I think I see that building there, so we're, like, there. Oh, okay, that was... A bit closer I think you have to be under 50 uh, 50 meters but overall a good score let's see how long this video has been 10 minutes let's do another game I'll try to be a bit quicker this time hey 246 very rural maybe uh, Wyoming or something I hope they actually have that's a loud train uh, let's hope they actually have Street View here which they do I was worried it would either not exist or be very bold and blurry so Casper so we are in Wyoming um, so if it's Casper, that would be on 90, right? Yeah, or no, 25. Oh yeah, okay, forgot how that worked. So 246, going southeast. Um, I don't remember which direction it said to Casper, but... Two, oh, that's close, 249, right? So... Should be south of that. Okay, there. This one's kind of difficult, but we're a lot closer to that than we are to the... Oh, I just realized that I don't have my cursor on. So that's going to make the last two videos kind of weird. Um... Yeah, but we're maybe like there. Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can turn my cursor on. Um, how do you do that again? I'm not sure if it just starts working in the middle of a video, but anyway, there we go. 251. Winner and Gregory. I've heard of Winner, I think, but I don't know if, if it's this one. Okay, South Dakota. So are we on 90, I assume? And were those towns the same uh, direction? I think they were. So we probably are here. Yeah, 47. 251s. Make sure that's right. I don't know if the angle seems... Oh, I guess it's right, yeah. Um, This one's going to be harder, too. I think we're around there. There we go. 60B. Where is this? Looks a, like somewhat suburban. But it is just a two-lane highway. That's Pennsylvania, I think. So 79 south to D.C., which is... I don't actually know which one's 79. Why can't I see that? Got 83. In theory, it should be west of that. It should be over here, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to be the case. Oh, there's 79. Oh, Washington is not DC. Washington is this Washington. Okay. Um, yeah, I was a bit confused there. Um, okay, so 60A and Highway 60. So. Are we just in the Pittsburgh suburbs? Because there's 60 there. So 
actually 60B, which I guess is, yeah, this. Quite a ways down. There we go. Looks like, uh, could be like, I don't know, West Virginia or regular Virginia or North Carolina or something. Alaska. I don't know what the, I don't remember what the diamond one is. Um, okay, it is 40, so it's probably Tennessee or um, North Carolina. Which one uses that diamond, though? I don't even remember. Why can't I jump across there? Okay. Mile 23.5. Let's just look for for that because it should be um they should count up as they go east so i assume that and yeah that is the case so this isn't going to be tennessee so it's going to be north carolina because 40 uh mile 23 of 40 in tennessee would be somewhere near memphis or something so um yeah this don't know where this is in relation to Asheville. it's a lot farther west apparently So what was the actual exit number? Was it 24? Yes, it was. So we're going east. We're going to be right around here. Not that far from where this splits off. There we go. 263A. Where do I think this is? Well, the signs make it seem like it's going to be Virginia. Um, so we're on 664. Or no, we're on 64. I don't know. We're on one of the two. Probably 64 if the exit numbers are this high. Um, Neil Armstrong Parkway. Where do they have uh, NASA stuff? Don't actually know. Anyway, what was the... 282, what was it, 262? Do they have NASA stuff up here? Naval Weapon Station. Langley Research Center, that's somewhere over here, isn't it? Um, anyway, let's go back to the start. 263A, 263B, 263A, so we're here. Just curious, where is all that stuff? I don't know. Oh, Air and Space Center is down there. Anyway, let's uh, figure this out here. Should be good just to go there. There we go. Another perfect score. I think that one was a bit quicker. I didn't even pay attention to my time. I don't know if I even looked at my time. Oh, it was like, well, the video was 10 minutes up to that point. So I assume this was the lower score out of the two and apparently that is my best score on this map I'm pretty sure it said that i played this map at some point before anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video i really like this map I'll probably play it again but yeah thanks for watching bye